how to make the most money as possible as a civil engineer. I've interviewed for three weeks and I got my job offers, five of them, as an EIT. I figured out that there are no qualified candidates to compete against at the pay rates being offered by most companies. How do you max out your earning potential? I think I need unlimited hourly if I ever want to move out of my parents' house. All right. You want to max out your money? Be willing to work anywhere. Be willing to work crappy hours. That's how you maximize your earning potential now if you want to do that. So go get a, go get a job at working for a construction company as a civil planner instead of as an engineer. Go work crazy hours, get per diem, and make a bunch of money. That's how you'd max it out now. But uh, <laughs> not, that's not really the path for everybody. Um, but yeah, I, I'd say if you want to make the most money as possible as a civil engineer, go in the office, get your experience, get your PE, pass the PE exam, ASAP. So get your EIT, take the PE exam. Uh, if you're st structural as well, get the SE. Uh, so get those licenses under your belt, or at least the tests under your belt. So that, that way, once you hit the right year of experience, you can get them. And then if you want to max out your money, be willing to work in the field. I mean, that that's it. And then maybe work out in the field and work 11 and threes where you work 11 days and then you take three days off or 13 ones where you work 13 days and take one out and work 10 hours a day working overtime as a field engineer or maybe if you're supporting turnarounds. I mean, that's how you'd max out your earning potential quick as quickly as possible. Now, if you want to play the long haul and you want to make a lot of money, then you work as an engineer and then you maybe work work your way into project management. Uh, where you're managing engineering projects and uh, maybe you're working overtime as well as a PM. And then again, find your way out to the field, support engineering projects that are getting built, construction out in the field. That's how you maximize your earning potential. Or you work as a PM for a lot of while, and then you work as a PM for a while, and then you get put in charge of bigger and bigger scopes and bigger and bigger projects. And next thing you know it, um, you're a, a VP uh, over a group of people that are running projects. I mean, that's that's, in my opinion, the quickest way to make as much money as possible along the way and then make a bunch of money. But you're going to work crazy hours. It's going to take a lot of effort. And do you really want to do that? I mean, what I'd say is the other way to go is you just get a, a nice, cushy engineering job. You live below your means and you just work out your career, maybe get a couple of promotions along the way jump from company to company to company to company and getting incremental raises each time you jump. And then if you want to, next thing you look at it, you'll be 60 years old, making 180 to $250,000 as a engineering SME. And you're just having a good time. Uh, so, ah, I mean, that, that, there's just so many assumptions and generalizations made here, but, but I, what I'd say is if you want to work more hours, get into an EPC, get into a, a firm that's building things. And then if you want to get more money, go out, go out and support the projects in the field and work in the middle of nowhere. Okay. Let's consult the other engineers and see what they have to say. Work construction on weekends. And they say as a tradesperson, as an engineer, uh, tradesperson. Uh, no, I mean, depends on the type of projects. Well, you said when I worked in construction as a PM, we were all on salary. What? So you already worked in construction and you're on salary. That's the problem. Go take a field assignment where you get per diem and you're getting paid for every single hour that you work. There are projects like that, or you get, get paid to, for every hour that you work or close to every hour that you work. Um, yeah. If you want to make as much money as possible, just, uh, Go work in the middle of nowhere on a big EPC job. And if you worked already worked as a PM and you're already a civil engineer, then why aren't you doing that already if you're so concerned about how much money you're making? I just made a pilot, then they threw me on the stations. I'm not complaining, I'm not complaining. My thoughts get complicated, I cannot explain the lameness. Never losing focus because I ain't chasing payments. Still playing in the basin while I'm working on arrangements. They heard the kid in 50 countries, thank God that's amazing. But I'd rather thank Spotify, they put me on the stations.